All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome, welcome back, welcome back. More standard. This format's not stale yet. All right, there are still decks to play. There are still some people innovating out there. We're at the tail end of the format, and while it's a pretty dynamic, dynamic, exciting format, for the most part, the decks are pretty set. You know, Esper, Bant Ramp, Mono Red, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but there are still folks out there innovating, and this is a, a deck list from a player called Pilo Toto who 5 0 a Magic Online League playing Mardu Feather. Each of the Feather decks are Boros, but Pilo Toto is adding black for Angrat's Rampage and Dreadhorde Butcher and Sorn Vengeful Bloodlord. This deck seems better against Planeswalkers because the Butcher and the Sorn can pick off the one toughness Planeswalkers and of course Angrath can kill them directly. Um, kind of cool too with uh, a Defiant Strike. You can make your Dreadhorde uh, cast Angrath's Rampage again, which is pretty cool. Um, which is nice. Otherwise, for the most part, it's just the uh, just the Feather deck. You know, if you're unfamiliar with what this deck does, uh, it's a deck it's very similar to the old Heroic decks uh, back in the day, where your focus is to play creatures that want to be targeted, and then play and target them with good spells. Feather, of course, is the the heart and soul of the deck. A 3-4 flyer for 3 is already good. This card is very, very powerful. It just makes you play cards in your deck that are like a little weaker than average. Like Defiant Strike, Sheltering Light, Reckless Rage. But when you get going, it's insane. With Reckless Rage, you can, you can kill a creature every single turn, bounce it back. Um, Defiant Strike, you can draw a card every turn. Sheltering Light, you can scry and protect your creatures. And then Dreadhorde, Dreadhorde Arcanist is also doing the same thing where you can use it to recast your spells, and it combos with Feather, where if you recast a spell and then target Feather, it goes back to your hand, which is pretty cool. 10th um, District Legionnaire is a heroic creature without, without the word heroic on it. Great thing to target. Dondo Vanguard, great thing to target. And uh, War Boss. Soren and R Rampage do add a nice amount of power to this deck. And then Butcher's also just pretty good. I do, I do like this card. So, pretty sweet looking deck. Sideboard's got uh, Healing Grace for the Monorad matchup, which keeps targeting your feather and gaining life and stuff is pretty cool. Uh, Duress, Honor Guard, uh, a Lava Coil, a Boss, two Mortify, two Deafening Clarion. I don't think you'd expect to see in a Mardu sideboard, you know? Right. You don't have to, tar you don't have to target feather, you can target other things too. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Just played a five color Niv Mizzet deck, if you missed that, uh, you want to watch that one on YouTube. Butcher is one of the best non-Planeswalker cards from War of a Spark. That's a, maybe a stretch, but it's definitely fine. Let's go. Um, yeah. Sand place. It's a lot of twos, but Ashram. We played against Grixis four times out of our five matches so far today. Uh, I would like to not play against Grixis anymore. Sheltering light. Temple Garden. Okay. Temple Garden is not Grixis. It is the opposite of Grixis. So double sheltering light. Paradise Druid. Boss. Um. Interesting. So, which two drop are we playing? We're probably playing War Boss on three, if you draw a land. Um. Getting the Butcher going is kind of nice. All of them seem good, honestly. I'd say Legionnaire is probably the worst of the three, because it has haste and we're not... Probably not going to target it next turn. So it comes down to Butcher or Vanguard. I think it's just Butcher. And if they block, I'm pretty happy too. So. No, like, it's an enticing block. I'm pretty happy with this. I got to kill their, their Paradise Druid.
Sure. Unfortunately, Teferi is very good against us because it makes our spells oh, and we're good and we didn't draw the land, obviously. Alright, that's tilt. Well, would have loved to land there. Didn't get it. No more game. Our tricks don't work very well with the Teferian, but Teferi is really annoying. <laughs> Teferi like limits the things you can do in this format it's so hard. Might have another Teferi. Idea. Shade Light Ranger. <laughs> Two lands. That's pretty good. Makes land war boss pretty good. I think both Teferi and Narset are a little over the uh, a little over the line. Your land is cool. They have Nissa next turn, it's kind of annoying, but we have some hasters and some sheltering lights and stuff. We can try and make it work. This is so good. Yeah, I don't think it's a fairy or narcissist or bannable. I think they're just like a little too obnoxious for how good they are. Tristani? That's really bad for us. That's really good against Warboss. Okay. Well, I thought Warboss would be good, but apparently it's not. Yes, I'll be playing Modern Goblins when the new set comes out. Don't worry, alright? Oh, that was really good. Um. Okay. So we are going to. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna rage with Rastani. What are we doing it off of? Probably just the the Legionnaire. And then we're going to attack with just the two tokens, I guess, too. Alright. Rampage seems really bad. Yeah, and then we're not attacking with the war boss. This is fine. Sure. So, this is just so good. Now I don't really have any great attacks on Nyssa. Alright, so we draw a land. Which doesn't really... I mean, I guess now we, now we can... Well, we can't double shelter in light and play a 10th district legionnaire. So we drew a dragon skull summit. Um, if they have a crisis, we probably just can't win, unfortunately. Because Nissa and the crisis are just so good. Uh... I guess we could attack with the with the boss too. Uh, they block two. Takes four. They block the boss and something else. So they block here and here. It's four, five. Yeah. I just, I just don't think it matters, honestly. 
Unfortunately, it's just like, do they have crisis or no? It's not a question that matters. They block Jay Light on a 2 2, we can kill Nissa. Alright, this is fine. So we shelter and light the 4 4, kill Nissa. We lose a war boss and a creature, and they lose that, but I guess it just kind of has to be like that. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so. Scry twice. I don't want another sheltering light. Maybe I actually do want this. That handles the next Nissa. It's not bad. Maybe we should just hop the previous one, honestly. I was thinking of it more of, a, more of an edict, which is bad against their creatures, but. Maybe it's actually just like fine, because we just like Nissa is just so important. Like in all these Bant decks, like Nissa is like the only card that matters. I guess Crisis is good by itself, but if they have any any steal your stuffy stuff, we're in trouble. attack and try and trade, I guess. That's true, they're playing Drasani, probably just like a Bant deck. Hmm. Arena, what is, what is going on? Has Arena been slow for anyone else? I feel like it's been so slow today. Like, I've only been on for two hours, it's not like I've been like you know, playing for a long time. I just feel like it's been so slow. It's very annoying. So they play another Krasis here. No, Teferi. That's bad, too. Trust me. You'll thank me later. So you can, like, bounce our 4-4, and we just can't really attack anymore. Now our sheltering light's bad too. Uh no, we're not playing the two mana two three fire. Be like This matchup's weird because they don't have any removal, which would be really good for us. But they also just like all their cards are just so good against us. Like the fairy turns off all of our tricks. Nissa and Krasis are just so good. We don't really interact with those very well. Like now I can't even target them, right? Yeah. So like this discard doesn't do anything. Um, all my creatures are so small. All the creatures are so big. Defiant strike. I mean, nothing here feels good. Alright, yeah, turns out my cards kind of, so I guess it's okay. What's up, Timu? 
Uh, I did bad in the MCQ. I was, I was like 4-1 or at some point. I lost to like Esper Unearth stuff, and then I lost to Mardu Pyromancer. So, played Jeskai Guy Sahili in the uh, the online MCQ yesterday. How did you do? I guess you lost round one, but maybe you rallied back. Paradise Druid. We should have like Shalai activations now too. We just like can't really win anymore. Like you already have trouble with this large crisis, but I'm just gonna next game. Oh my god, Arena! What is going on? All right, uh, Banty stuff. I mean, Definite Glarian is good against Nyssa and, like, mana creatures and stuff. If Shalai... Warboss, like, should be good. We're not actually playing that much removal. I mean, the Warboss isn't good. Um... Oh, this card doesn't target your creatures. That's weird. Alright, um... Like, maybe we don't want the... It's weird, because, like, usually Warboss is very good against decks that can't kill it. But I don't think we actually want Warboss. Um... I feel like we want these... Deafening Clarions. And Sheltering Light also doesn't seem great, because they have Teferi, and they're not going to kill my creatures. At this point, we're just so low on targeting spells. Kind of like... Eh. Mortify might also be necessary. Maybe Coil's better than Light. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Actually, Soren's is pretty bad in this matchup. Let's leave it a Sheltering Light. Like, they're not, killing, they're not really killing my stuff, you know? Let's try this. I don't know what Final Strokes is, Union. Yes, I think in Modern, it's often a good idea to just scoop some matchups. As long as it's not like a, a Tier 1 deck. Like, if you just can't be burned, don't even bother. Like, I think that, like, Jun decks are often better off not playing any Full Minor Mages in their sideboard. Like... You're not going to beat Tron with, like, three Full Minor Mages in your board. Just don't even bother. You know? That's a really awkward hand. Uh, I guess they're mulliganing. You just have any creatures? Like... Yeah, I guess. All right, five ball. All right. One red source, please. I mean, definitely Glarian and Feather and Rage. This is a pretty good five if we draw a red source. So, let's draw a red source. That's not a red source. Let's draw a red source. I do like the ambient sounds of the dual lands a lot. I feel like there should be more ambient sounds on Arena. Yep. Didn't get there. Tilt. Alright, we're probably, uh. Probably in trouble. Let's just definitely clear. You can bail us out pretty good here. Oh. It's actually maybe fine. Maybe if we. if we, Maybe the not drawing the red was a blessing in disguise. Oh my god. So now our feather's still alive and they couldn't baffling end it. Okay. The 
animation for Feather? Legendary creature? Hmm. Oh. Where might Demystify is at? That's a good card to flash back with uh, Dreadhorde Arcanist. This isn't very fun. We just mulligan to five. They killed my two creatures. I said final stroke using a Russian idiom. Oh, you're making the final. T you're doing the final touches to your deck. Oh, I, I thought you were saying you were. I thought. I'm sorry. I miss. I, I misread it. Is you saying I'm making final strokes my modern casual deck? As in, fi if final strokes was the name of the deck, that's where we go. No problems. Yeah. I, so I thought you were saying the name of the deck was final strokes, and I was like, what's final strokes? I, I don't know what that is. All right. Well, how about you? Uh, we draw a card. Oh, look, another land. Alright. Well, I think we're dead. Maybe they'll just, like, somehow make all of their lands into 3-3s three and we'll kill them all. Maybe they go, like, Nissa, make a 3-3. Three, three. New Nissa, make a 3-3. Three, three. Play line or off, play line or off. You go definite clarity and we can win. Maybe. Now we're not casting Clarion yet. We need to like this needs to be like third row of the upper deck home run for us to win this game. So That's bad for us. They have played around our Clarion. Druid of the Cowl. Yeah. We're pretty dead. That wasn't a very fun game. Uh -huh. What's up, Pink Taco? You folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. Don't forget, everyone. Uh, first off, we're playing Mardu Feather uh, at 5 out of Magic Online League. Uh, don't forget also to hop on to CoolStuffInc.com. Check out my video article. Go, Ninja. Go, Ninja. Go. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Go, 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 go. That's a pretty cool looking uh, thing. Check it out. Video all about modern Demir ninjas. Coolstuffinc.com. Check out the video. That is pretty sweet. But back at it here with our Mardu feather pile. Mardu or Mardot? You decide. Best Marmot. Yeah, it's mostly it's mostly Mardon usually, but all right, play first. That sounds good. Keep. You missed five color Niv, but it'll be up on the YouTube. So look for it on my YouTube channel. Or if you're a subscriber, you have access to my all my VODs on demand. You can watch it right now. Basic Island. Another dread word. Yes, I think planner cleansing is good. Hop on over to my article on coolstuffinc.com on Friday. Where I give all my I gave all my thoughts, my first thoughts on the format. First look, core set 2020. That was Friday's article on CoolStuffInc.com. Planner cleansing is right there. I talk about it. Check it out, CoolStuffInc.com. We didn't draw land for our war boss, which stinks a little, but. They're playing Esper and they're killing all our creatures. Okay. We drew land. Cool. Your turn. Let's 
So they're playing Esper Hero. Because they're playing Tyrant Scorn over Cast Down. Okay. War Boss obviously good against against uh, against a fairy. So they have an island in play and they're playing heroes. They're not playing main deck Wrath. Maybe you just slam all of our creatures here. Um, so this attacks this. That's you. 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 Onto that one. Pretty good. I think it's Othakaya, my Legion War boss. I think it's untap and go. Yep. 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 I would say getting three creatures and a bunch of damage out of my War boss made it worthwhile, so. Reckless Rage. Alright, so let's, uh, let's Defiant Strike here. See what we draw. Sheltering Light? I can buy that. Then we're going to attack with everything and cast it again. Don't want Godless Shrine. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, alright. I prefer to cast that pre-combat, but then we're going to leave up Sheltering Light by Close Rage. And we're just going to play it. I mean, it's more mana efficient just to cast it. So go. Like, playing Tyrant Score and they don't have, don't have Wrath in their deck, most likely, so. Boom! We won a game! We did it! Mardu! Did they ever say what decks these decks went up against? No. They just post the deck lists. Alright, so. Mardu versus Esper. Sheltering Light seems good here. Um, Reckless Rage can definitely come down a notch. I don't have that many creatures. I, I might not even want any Reckless Rages, honestly. It's a pretty uh, pretty big blowout if my creature gets killed in response. Um, I think I want this War Boss. I want like some number of duresses, probably. Soren is quite good here, which is nice. Um, I like the versatility of Angrad's Rampage. It kills Hero or Planeswalkers. I just don't want any of these. Bring three duresses. Recasting duress with uh, Dreadhorde is also really cool. Um, do I want this Lava Coil? Maybe? Maybe uh, I want this Lava Coil. Yeah, Rampage is like just medium. Yeah, you know what? I think I want Lava Coil over Rampage. Let's do this. Rage still happens if they kill your dude. Huh. Well. Maybe I could have read that card better. Even then, like, they don't have many things that, uh... Many creatures, anyway. And... I don't want to be without a creature and have them have a hero, you know? Yeah, this is very a very high variance deck, for sure. Um... There's going to be games like that, where you just literally steamroll opponent, your opponent, and it looks like you're playing modern and they're playing standard. And then there's going to be games like the one we played earlier, where we drew four Reckless Rages and two Sheltering Lights and no creatures. So, definitely a high variance deck. His hand's great. I think Soren is really good in this deck. I do I do like the Mardu take on this deck. I'd play Is It, yeah. I think Is It is great. Played Is It Phoenix in Fandom Legends last week. Went five one in the Swiss. Then I lost to White Weenie in top eight. Kind of a hard, kind of hard matchup. Thankfully, our hand is super threat heavy, so this thought erasure is not too bad for us. Um, we're gonna slam Butcher. Butcher does play well against the Planeswalkers, which is nice. It's like a Danto Vanguard. Interesting. Bombs away. I think the way that they've built this deck is pretty good, where it's like, we're not playing a ton of targeted things. This feather is just good by itself, you know? Alright, yeah, we're just Butcher again. I'm trying to land, kind of stinks, but... 
Feather's also pretty bad against the Fairy, unfortunately. Any three or higher mana creatures that doesn't affect the board turn it comes into play is a hard sell at times. Elite Guard Mage. Oh no. Not Elite Guard Mage. Hmm. It's like we can feather here, but if they have any Teferi and they get to bounce it, it really sucks. But I guess we have more we have a butcher and a Soren too. Mm. I feel like maybe the thing is if we if we wait a turn for sheltering light, they just bounce it or tuck it. it doesn't work anyway, so uh, they have hero kill spell? That's bad. That's that's a really bad turn. Just the fairy by itself was okay. It's a fairy with the hero is really obnoxious. Oh boy. We drew a land there. We could have like soar and ping this. Would have been pretty nice, but as it stands, we kind of just can't do much of anything. Like, I think we're just replaying Feather and probably getting blown out next turn. Um, I guess we could attack with the Butcher and, like, Defiant Strike it, trade, and kill the, kill the thingy. It's not bad. Yeah, alright. I can't cast tricks. I'm so stupid. I'm an idiot. Obviously, my spells are on because the fairies in play. I'm just a moron. I think it's actually fine, though. We'll just kill the hero and just keep playing magic. Passive punked. It's very so annoying. Like, it's it's happening in modern a lot where I've been playing Just Guys to Healy in modern with the fairy. The fairy just messes up so many things. Oh, you're playing Infect? Nice pump spells. And, oh, you're playing Rift Bolt? Sorry. Oh, you're playing Bloodbraid Elf? Haha. <laughs> like, it just, like, punks so many different things, incidentally, while also being good against Planeswalkers. Like, my pump spells don't work. I mean, that play ended up being fine, because we just killed the hero, at least, but... Ugh. Here we go. Narset is also very good and obnoxious in modern. And this game's over. When the hero deck draws multiple heroes, it is very, very, very hard to win. Like when they kind of mope around and like just play a, a mid rangey game. When they're able to actually like add threats to the board too, it's tough. No, I don't think the fairy's bannable. I just think it's obnoxious. All right, now they're on the play. Maybe we're more interested in reckless rage. Um, maybe it's better than lava coil. Maybe maybe this card just stinks against them. Like they're gonna have leftover nars hits and random tokens and crap. Let's bring these reckless rages back in. Let's get reckless. Rage targets most of our creatures safely. Yeah, sure. Cut Dreadhorde? No way. Dreadhorde's great. We're playing all we're playing all war bosses. Like a boss. Uh yeah. It's pretty good. I think static abilities on planeswalkers is fine. It just like making all the best ones into prison elements is like not fun. You know, oh, Null Rod, yay. Oh, I can't draw cards, yay. Oh, I can't cast instants, yay. You know, like, like Soren's passive is cool. Stuff has lifelink, it's cool. You know, but when they're, when they're like negative prison, prison-y abilities, it kind of feels bad. All right, um, yeah. We're not flashing anything back with this yet, so. 
Well, I think I think enchantments with a health bar is like kind of okay because enchantments are notoriously difficult to interact with. So that car, that bar is kind of cool, but. All right, I mean, it's pretty good. That makes our hands significantly worse. Um... Too many rages. We only have three. And now I know about them. This thing's gonna die. Yeah. Alright, down to Vanguard. You have some work to do, my friend. That was a good draw. Opponent in the tank. They have to ferry. I mean, this is fine. This is just a repulse. So, bounce feather. We kills the ferry. Things like repulse gain three life is still pretty good. You know, Ooh, that was actually really good. Oh, I can't. Never mind. I can't, can't, can't guess both. But. This is hardly my worst defeat. Hardly. Alright. It's kind of fine. It's like, we just reckless rage. Goes to exile. This all resolves. Rage goes back to our hand. Losing strike kind of sucks. I was looking forward to, to chaining that together with feather, but Holy Let's get crap. that back. <laughs> uh, doesn't really matter what we target. Right? Yeah. That's pretty good too. I'd say we're currently doing it. I they could have Kaya's Wrath in their deck. Our Vanguard would live. And they'd be at seven going to four. And we'd have a Defiant Strike too. Yeah, I'll just cast this. Gross. Gross. Oh, they're dead anyway. Are they? They're not dead anyway. They, they're going to one. Cool. We'll take it. One and one with Mardu Feather. That was good, though. We beat it. We beat a Esper deck. It was our first Esper deck of the day. Invert. Invent. Want to remind everyone check out bcwsupplies.com. BCW Supplies. I've been using their gear for the last four years. Every tournament I've played in. I've been using my BCW deck locker. Uh, I have three BCW zipper binders I use for my entire collection. I travel, those things have been around the country over a hundred times. And the new Elite 2 deck guard sleeves, got out the graphic, are fantastic. They're like eight bucks a pack, and they are equal to or better quality than Dragon Shields and Katanas and all that stuff. So don't waste your money. Buy the Elite 2 deck guards. I prefer the matte front mulberries. Promo code Jim10, 10% off.
Sounds great. If we can draw two lands, multiple creatures, and a trick every time, we're going to do very well here. Can you order a box online? A box of what? Of sleeves? Yep. You can order one pack, a box. I think it's I think it's a really good idea with sleeves to just buy like a box of like 12 packs of sleeves. You buy it in bulk. It's cheaper. Just put it in your closet. When you need sleeves, go grab them. You, you waste a lot of money if you go to if you go to a tournament every other week and buy a new pack of sleeves for twelve dollars, you know. A boreal grazer. Most of boreal grazer decks don't play removal, so that could be good for us. All right, so we're gonna Danto here because obviously uh, the tenth district legionnaire is getting blocked anyway. So there are a hundred slaves in a pack. Am I allowed to talk about other brands when I promote, promote, promote yours? Why wouldn't I be? I'm giving my opinion. That's just like my opinion, man. Growth spirals? I mean, this is a weird deck. Is this a, is this a, a Nexus deck? Alright, we're not casting that. They're definitely a Nissa deck. We'll just say that for Nissa. Let's get our boss going. Like a boss. Alright, so we're gonna attack Narset with both here. They can chump to save it if they want to. Otherwise they can't keep it in place. My sheltering light works. Obviously Warball should be very, very good here if they're playing Nexus, so... I mean, wrong Weasley, yes, Feather puts the spell in exile so you can't Anarchist it, but the point of Anarchist, or Arcanisting it, is to cast it over and over again, and you're already doing that with Feather, so it's like, you're just getting the same effect anyway. Alright. Goodbye, Narset. I'll bet you do. Search for Escanta, sure. So we're attacking for a lot next turn. A lot. So they gotta have a lot of fogs. Ooh, a boreal razor. Looks like no lands. Alright, works for me. I guess I shouldn't have played that, but whatever. Nth District Legionnaire. Everybody in the party bus. What's the most expensive card I own? Maybe a Tundra? I, I, I'm not sure. Alright, so we'll kill the, the Grazer here. Um, we're losing a little value on our, our Legionnaire, but I think they're just getting the, the O3 out of the way. Is good. Also makes it harder for them to protect their planeswalkers, so. Now they're at 12, they're facing down lethal every turn, and they missed the land drop, so life is good. They got four in the bin? Yeah, I mean, there are ways to go on search for Escanta. Uh, yeah, I mean. You can't really afford to miss a land drop against Legion War Boss. You're playing Nexus. All right, so we're going to want duresses, which seem great. War Boss, Mortify, Mortify. I take out the Reckless Rages. I mean, actually, I guess Sheltering Light is just awful. Um, Rampage also seems kind of meh. So does Soren. It's got a Soren. Maybe the rages are actually fine. It's like they probably bring in creatures anyway, and like just pick, picking off like a boreal razor and some garbage like that's kind of cool. Lotus Field seems really good, honestly. Um, isn't really like a downside for playing it, and it's just like really, really good with Teferi. It's really, really good with Kiora. Just like really good with a lot of things and with very little downside. So 
Yes, recasting Duress with a uh, Dreadhorde Arcanist is very, very good. Um, yeah, they can have like Ooze or something like that. I think this is fine. We have Rampage too, but I kind of like this. Mardu Feather. If you're if you're a Feather fan, this seems like the best version of his deck I've seen by a lot. Uh, I thought I think the the Boros Feather deck is very very like glass cannony and finicky, but this version seems much much better. Does Lewis Field count as a basic land? No. All right, so awkward hand here, and that it's fantastic. We have all Buddy Lands. We're still gonna keep, I think. Um, we draw any land; his hand's just phenomenal. And even even if it's slow, he still have to earn two duress, turn three butcher. I'm gonna keep. We're on the draw, just draw a land, you know. Hmm. Now you have now you have a this is the recast duress too. Alright, it's obvious growth spiral. Uh, Alright, this is fine. Hopefully they don't have double reclamation. They have spiral, spiral, tamio, nissa. Ugh. Gross. Growth spiral is so good in this deck. Alright, we gotta take tamio here, because if we don't take the tamio, they just steal it back. And uh, we can't make them discard spells. So, arena, hello. Time you up, please. Unfortunately, they are probably going to Nissa before I can Dread Horror the Duress, so... Spiraling into a Scryland does seem good. New Duress, please. Oh. You'll love to see it. You love to see it. Streamer luck. Oh. Chase, wielder of mysteries. Uh, alright. We are not applying literally any pressure at all, but. So now if I draw any blue source, then Jace, wielder of mysteries, gets working. I had a blue source, their hand's terrible, so. Uh, I think we're definitely playing Dread Horde here. Uh, and just trying to recast these duresses over and over again. No island. No island. No island. No chemistries. No chemistries. No chemistries. Hand pressure doesn't matter though if you're not actually, god damn it, killing them. Right, that's that's the problem. We can figure a way out of this. Alright, I mean. This will come I guess that plays. I really want to add threats to the board. You know, like. Let's see their hand, I guess, first. Like, I really want to play Feather. Just get things rolling here. Well, I guess we're attacking... I guess we're going to Rampage this turn or next turn anyway, so let's attack them. Oh, Hydroid Crisis. Oh... That's bad. Alright, I think we have to cast Feather. Now I'm kind of wishing I'd attack the, the Jace. So now we're one short of killing it. Yeah, that might have been, been a mistake. I should have just attacked the Jace, that was stupid. 
I wasn't considering a blocker. Please don't land. Please don't land. God. So now I have to rampage the... Oh, never mind. I, I, guess I can... I, I got this. This is fine. I can flash back the rampage with the uh, uh, Dreadhorde, Dreadhorde, Dreadhorde Arcanist. We can Defiant Strike it, and then Rampage, and then flash it back. So let's uh, start there. Odas, Risa, welcome back. So, sack a creature. And then... Yeah, so if I... I should have attacked the Jace that previous turn. But, we'll make this work, it's fine. Flash Impact Angrath Rampage is also pretty sweet. Alright. To start. We're drawing cards with Defiant Strike. We're doing stuff. They have a lot of cards in their hand now, so we could definitely be in big trouble, but... We get to duress them next turn, too. As long as not, they don't have a, a Nissa or Reclamation that, this turn. Uh, they still can't Nexus. So. God. Alright. They get to Fog this turn too? Christ. Yeah, we just didn't apply pressure fast enough. And if I saw the Rampage available to us, yeah, we probably, probably would've won this game once again if I didn't punt it. If I had just acted Nessa for that, the, the Jace for that one point of damage, I think we were fine this game. So now they just have, they just have the, uh, the Fog up, so we're, our attack this turn's irrelevant. We get to duress them, which is cool. They just have Escanta on now, so it probably doesn't matter. I should have me played this first. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're just forcing them to cast fog, so it's like it's not, it's not like their block matters. Alright, so we cast duress. They fog. We duress them. They have two nexus of fate. All right. I mean, we're probably in pretty big trouble here, but I mean, they don't need reclamation because they have Nissa. So they have 8, 9, 10, 11. They have 12 mana and a Nexus. They can Nexus and activate Ascanta. They have more than that because they can untap stuff too. So We're like, if they find one more Nexus, we're just dead here. Because we don't have any blockers too. Oh, we are just dead. I'm sorry, that, that, they, they just activated twice. Alright, yeah, we're just dead. I'm stupid. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. Uh, okay, so... That game stunk a little. I actually like Reckless Rage a lot for picking off Nissa lands. Now that I think about it, it's like I actually I don't want these uh these rages back in. Um, maybe like maybe these Sorens are just terrible. Yeah, I just got the Sorens. But they're never killing our stuff with Soren, you know. I like this. They also have Krasis too, so. All right, I think we're all right. We're right in the play. That that was a slow hand. We kept the tap land hand. We didn't get to, to apply any pressure with our with our creatures. So I think I think we're all right. Yeah, big rotation in the fall. 
It's like Ixalan block, uh, Dominaria, M19. Is it a new Future Sight card? I have not. God damn it. This hand would be so good if we could just cast our spells. We can't keep this. We, we, got, we, we can't keep this one. With Duress, it was it was arguable because like we could at least slow them down, but like this hand is just super slow. That stinks. Uh... Alright. Yeah, we'll mulligan. Alright. It plays. Could be worse. They mulligan too, so that's fine. Yeah, I'll keep that. Island, go. Alright. Um, Butcher has the highest damage output over a long a game. I think we're just butchering here. Butcher Snowball's better too, so... The next year we can, like, Dread Horde plus Strike and set up Flashback on Strike. Ooh, that's actually really good. Never mind. Uh... Almost assuredly just casting Butcher. Let's just take a look. All right. The Butcher. Oh, fresh meat. So Scanta is really good for us too, because like that's like their worst possible two drop. Uh, against an aggressive start. Thorn Lieutenant. Lieutenant? Uh, Alright. So... I think we just play both of these. Attack for three, play both of these, they go. Sweet. Like, there are 12... I have a bajillion creatures in play too, so. Hope you got airbags. Alright, here it comes. Tamiya. What are they going to name? Reclamation, probably? Are they even playing Reclamation? Root Snare. And they find it. That's thanks. Well, now they can buy back the Root Snare with the Tamiyo. So now we kind of need, need to kill Tamiyo. That's super lame. Um, Alright, well, we get to draw a lot of cards here, at least, with our Dread Horde. Um... Let's just pre-combat Defiant Strike. Or if, actually, I'm sorry, we already have a Defiant Strike in our graveyard. Uh, but if we, what if we, what if we draw a Haste Creature? Yeah, they were just firing off pre-combat here. So. Alright. Um, if we don't kill Tamiyo, they get to buy back Root Snare. Both butchers attack Tamio, they block one, it takes three, doesn't die. Man. Uh This guarantees that Tamio dies, it makes my butchers bigger. They might trade with the lieutenant, which I think is fine. And then this attacks them. And I flash back the strike on the dreadhorde. Is so there a way to kill Tamiyo and deal them more damage? 3-3, three, three, they block 1, it only takes 5. Yeah, it has to be this, I think. Oh, 
awkward, but sure. <laughs> Yeah, they, so they printed a lot of cards in uh, Corset 2020 that are going to end up being good with Ixalan cards. Like, it's like a, a dinosaur card, a vampire card. The problem is that it'll only be legal together for a little while, which is a little weird, but... I mean, they're almost at the point now where they have to fog every single turn, which is good for us. So... Like, there are 12. We have 100 bajillion power in play. Um... If they have a, a Nissa this turn, and Nissa into Root Snare is obviously really good. But, what am I going to do, you know? They don't, thank God. Alright, I mean, just bombs away here. They're going to Root Snare, it doesn't really matter what we do. Bigger. Mad Russian says, I feel I've kind of plateaued as a player, oftentimes making day two, but being at the bottom of the standings is something that most players don't think about, they normally should. Um, yeah, a lot of things. <laughs> um, I'll answer that in a second. It doesn't really matter what we target. Whatever, this one. We, we need to draw a non-creature spell, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so they fog. If they go land Nissa, we're in trouble. If they don't play Nissa, they were fine. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, magic's really, really hard, and requires a lot of a lot to be good at. Um, my big, my best advice to you would be to make sure you're critically analyzing your games. Uh, never walk away from a game saying I got un I got I got unlucky, because in almost every game there is something you could have done at some point. Look for that thing and then try to improve it. Treat every game as a learning experience. Um, try and play with be players who are better than you. It's not always easy, obviously, because those players don't necessarily want to play with you because you're not as good as them. But um, yeah, that's where I would I would start. All right, I mean, it's fog or bust, so let's just try and draw to rest, I guess. Butcher, and I don't want that. I mean, it doesn't really matter at all. It's actually not it's actually not bad against a Nissa land. So I'm actually not, not sad to have this. But realistically they're in they're in fog every turn, so Yeah, last turn not not being uh Reclamation or Nissa is very good for us. Let's cast this one again. I can creature to give a counter, whatever that one. Sure. <laughs> like our our creatures don't matter anymore. It's just roots and it's just roots and error bust every turn, especially the game. So. Dress. No. That's okay. I could have cast that. I guess whatever. It just doesn't matter. All right. So Escanta flips now. But if they have a Nissa and we can Reckless Rage the, the land, that might be good enough. So we'll see. Obviously should have played this, but whatever. I doubt that it'll matter. Alright, cool. If only you could Reckless Rage your own creatures. Yeah, that'd be cool. Alright, 2 one But the point is, so the point is, Union, the question is, are there games of Magic you cannot win? The answer is yes. It is literally possible to just 
never draw an opening, a land in your opening hand, mulligan to zero two games in a row, and never have any relevant choices. So the answer to your question of is it possible to take no have no relevant choices and lose? Yes. The percentage of time people walk away from a match and say, I just couldn't do it and they got unlucky, I would say that that statement is correct probably 5% or less. If a, a better player, maybe it's like 10 or 15%, but the amount, it's, God, what is with these creature land? We just can't find a, a dual land. Like so, a because of that, the other 95% of the time, you could have learned something from the game if you didn't waste your time complaining about it. So you should just assume that in every game you could have won, and you just need to figure out what you did wrong. And by taking that side of the equation, even though you're going to be wrong a small percentage of a time that you couldn't have done anything, you're at least taking the proper actions to get better at magic. All right, well, Mulligan again. It's, it's good. Mav, new sub, what's your name, where are you from? Welcome. Mulligan. Her hand's okay. Defiant Strike? Yeah, I can I can mess with that. Name all the five. Strikes give both of these. Next up is Ben from Texas. Playing since RTR. Favorite card, Nivik Cyclops. Favorite deck, 8 rack. What's up, Ben? Where in Texas are you from? I love Fort Worth, the Fort Worth area. It's super nice. Demir Guildgate? Uh, okay. We're gonna set up for next turn. This might get killed, but... Southeast? Okay. I mean, does Gates play Demir Guildgate? Usually Dates is, Gates is, is non-black. It's every color but black. Meh. <laughs> For M20, folks, I'm going to be doing the preview stream. Someone asked earlier. I, I forgot they asked, and I didn't respond to them. Hopefully, they're still here. But um, I'll, be playing, I'll be doing the M20 preview stream thing on Monday, July 1st, I believe. It's the day after Pittsburgh. So that'll be cool. John. So, everyone, apparently John's a doctor. John, of course, is my stepson. He's the 8-year-old you see on the uh, John and Jim show and stuff. Apparently he's a doctor about to get his blood drawn, and he needs a little words of encouragement. So everyone say nice things in chat, and put your, uh, put your Jim D. Wows in chat, please. Thank you. You're going to Ecuador? That's cool. Alright, um... So we're just gonna... S I mean, we could, like, Reckless Rage this before they thought erasure, but I kinda want to just try and strike and draw two cards, I guess, so. Even with them mulling to five here, that this is not necessarily easy for us. I mean, it's obviously really good, I'm gonna get thought erasure, but. Sweet. Feather number two is awesome. Nice thought erasure. Opponent. Tannen says, John, make sure you fight them and run away. And they don't give the blood back. It's true. They thought erasure a feather. We laugh at them, untap, play feather, reckless rage, attack for a million and kill them. <laughs> feather, 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 feather. Pretty Light says I'm playing uh, Magic Fest Dallas Fort Worth. Recommendations on places to eat. Uh, if it's is it in Fort Worth or is it is it, is it in Dallas? If it's in Fort Worth, I have a lot of good suggestions. Good 
device on set. Bone's pretty dead. Hopefully they don't have ritual of soot, that would suck. But Alright, can't win. I guess I didn't need to play Feather, I guess. It's in Fort Worth. Yeah, so um Velvet Taco's pretty good. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan. People like it. It's good. It's definitely good. Um There's a really good gelato place. A few blocks up from the convention center. It's like a really good gelato place. Um, what else do they have there? There's a, a good little Mexican place in the square. There's a jazz club. The jazz club is dope. So there's a place called... Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. There's just a little jazz club in the square. It's like down a back alley. You literally go down a back alley. And then you have to get into an elevator if it's unmarked and go down one floor. And when the elevator opens, it's like you, you walk into, like, 1930. It's like this little speakeasy jazz club with, like, live music, no cover. Uh, it's just awesome. It's really, really cool. Uh, I think it's called the Scat Jazz Lounge. Auger bolus. There it is. Yep. That's it. So you see, you, you you just see this down a uh, down a a dark alley in the square, and then you 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 come down to this. There's it during the day. Yeah, it's it's awesome. Really, really cool spot. My probably my favorite spot to travel to. God, enter the God Eternals. We just can't win. Yes, I'll be there to steal your kidneys. But that place is really cool. Um, they yeah, were just super dead here. We just can't win. This sucks. I mean, we have Feather. They have Enter the God Eternals. When does this spell come back? Beginning of the next end steps? Like, I can cast Reckless Rage twice and just kill this thing. Um, let me just get it back. So I can trade, like, Feather and Reckless Rage for Kefnit, which comes back in two turns. Play Feather, the Eternals it. This sucks. Let me just say go. Try and draw, like, the indestructible thing. I mean, I guess it's something. I could like hmm. I could use this and the rage to kill the Kefnet. It's not bad. I need to kill my feather and make a four four. Ugh, this is gross. Alright. That worked out well. I mean, Kevin just come back, but we need to draw the protection spell. That's what needs to happen here. Plays too, honestly. We can't pay four life that many times, but we can pay it at least once. Mondays, am I right? Lasagna, Mondays. Not yeah, sure. This seems really hard to win. Just like a blue black deck with like all removal spells and ritual of soot. Seems like one of our worst matchups. Oh, okay, can't win. Thanks for playing. If I were you, I'd just surrender right now. Yeah, this seems really hard. Uh, all right. 
I guess the rest are in. Uh, the war boss is in. Reckless Rage is probably just the weakest link. Soren should be good here. I'm okay with the Garfield. As long as it isn't spammed. The one Garfield is cool. I like that. Liliana was right. Yep. She certainly was. Hmm. Come on, Soren. Help me out. Yes, Demir Gilgate. Just like a blue-black deck. Just like Demir Control. Maybe I shouldn't have played into that uh, that Ritual of Soot. Might have been my fault. Who am I kidding? I just got unlucky, right? Am I right? Just got unlucky, right? Oh, this mana base is really killing us. Um, I just had to be insane when these lands was, when these lands was red. I can't keep this. Oh, it's so hard to mulligan against these decks, though. They just have Thought Erasure and all these removal spells. Oh. How many red lands in our deck? Alright, we're mulligan. Maybe we're just like, you know what? I think we're a pretty big underdog here. I'm just going to keep wishing to get lucky. I think we're we're a dog. Every mulligan, we're a dog anyway. The thing is that I don't think the mana base of red-white and this is appreciably different. All your planes become these, and all your mountains become blood crypts. Like, it's not like we're playing any non-red or white lands, and we're playing the maximum amount of red-white dual lands. So the mana base should be exactly the same as the Boros deck. Just more, just more painful. I'm going to keep. They mulled they they the 5 that game, too. Ugh. I guess we mulled the 6, but... Like, it is a little more awkward, I suppose, when it comes to, like, the, the buddy lands. But color-wise, the colors sh shouldn't be any different than the uh, Boros deck. The London Mulligan is very simple. Every time you mulligan... Instead of drawing six cards, you draw seven cards, put one back. You mulligan to five, draw seven cards, put two back. Uh, on the bottom of your deck, I believe. Sacred Foundry. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I can't cast anything. Goodbye, Feather. Red source, red source, red source. Yes. This deck is definitely a little inconsistent. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. If you have followed Jim with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow him there. Oh, yeah, it's just what we're looking for. You'll love to see it. Oh, let's go. I think our keep is fine. Oh, there it is. We're so lucky. Uh... Ack. Attack, I say. What say you? Defiant Strike. Defiant Strike. Alright, Soren plays. Soren's not bad. Thought Erasure, Thought Erasure. Yeah, it's been really slow today. Are they playing Sinister Sabotage? Are we gonna get Sinister Sabotage again? They probably are. No, okay. 
That's pretty good for us. Soren is really good in these matchups. We haven't drawn Soren basically at all ever. Contempt my Alright. That's fine. Did its job. Oh yeah, he's back for more. Imagine winning this game? Imagine winning this game? Legionnaire over feather? We don't have a feather. Oh, we could have gotten back feather. Oh yeah, I forgot I forgot I was even there. That was so long ago. Um, feathers probably better. Yeah, I just didn't. I just forgot. It was just so long ago. It just didn't even matter, you know. I think feathers a lot better. Feather doesn't die to cast down. Doesn't die to toughness based things. Rituals. So. Well, I get feather back. Or we play War Boss and Dreadhorde. I think I kind of like that. His feather isn't even good anymore, so I don't have the Defiant Strikes. So we can set up for Feather next turn. Let's do that. Arena, I swear. And I swear by the moon and the something, something. Ritual set again. Oh, my graveyard. That's actually pretty good. And they could have a removal spell, but um, all right. I mean, bombs away. It's dead. No, it's not dead. What kind of hand is that? Uh. Uh. Alright, let's take both Liliana's, I guess. So, now we're going to soar in and get back the... Oh, the war boss isn't there anymore. Um, uh, uh, so now we want to duress again and take the other Liliana. And we're definitely going to soar in. I guess we get back Feather? Is the next time we can bet we can do the do tricks with feather? Yeah, sure. All right. You should fear those cold of darkness. I require your body, not your soul. Man, hitting back duress is so good. All right, Liana is the unbeatable card. Ugin is certainly beatable. Is it ever correct to curious possession an opponent's creature? I'm sure there is some scenario where that is correct, yes. So if they draw a land, they can Ugin something, but it just dies. If they don't draw a land, and they can't kill Feather, we get to, like, Defiant Strike and Feather and stuff. They're looking at my graveyard. I think I'd almost prefer they play a land here. I guess they would just play land and kill Feather, then that would kind of stink, but... Hopefully they drew another... Kefnet. Whatever they drew, they are in the tank, like, big time. So... While our opponents have a tank on our mind, everyone to go on over to CoolStuffInc.com. Obviously it works every time. Hop on over to CoolStuffInc.com. Check out my, my video today, Modern Ninjas. That's right, Demir Ninjas and Modern. Check that out. And then check out um, my article on Friday. First look at Corset 2020. Y'all want to know what I think about Goblin Ring Leader? Well, here it is in the article, coolstuffinc.com. Check it out. Uh, article from Friday and video from today. All right, let's start there. Um, we're just going to edict this.
Does it include any catchy, catchy, catchy 90s music? Yeah, probably. Ninja, ninja, rap, ninja, ninja, rap. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Go ninja, go ninja, go. That's a good draw. That's a really good draw. Uh, yeah, that's a nice one. I could get a little value off of it by scrying and returning to my hand, but I don't want to do that because I want them to Ugin minus something. Probably should upkeep the Fine Strike, actually, so they can't draw a kill spell in response, but it's too late now. I imagine they're playing Ugin here. They're going to try and kill my thing and get blown out, and it's going to be awesome. Minus Targeting Feather. That's game! Uh, I'm fine strike first. Okay, once Feather's in play, yeah, this is definitely a scoop phase. Scoop, scoop, dead oop, scoop, dead oop, scoop, dead oop. Beginning of the next end step, okay. Scoop, dead oop, dead oop, dead scoop, scoop, dead oop. They dead. Maybe they're dead. Yeah, I probably just killed them. Whatever. How many of these do we have? We have four Defiant Strikes. Yeah. Sweet. I kind of like this deck. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, I can run that back. Soren's great. I think that the black really adds to this deck a lot. Uh, Duress, Soren, and Butcher have all been fantastic. Rampage has been pretty good, too. I like it. I like it. I think the fourth the rest maybe should maybe be in there. Yeah, Soren seems like the problem is this deck is this is a deck where if they kill you, if they pick off your creatures, you just get destroyed. But Soren obviously can just buy the creatures back over and over again. Um, so that's pretty sweet. Two Danto four butcher might be better. Like a Danto is pretty soft to. To ferry, which is better there, but <laughs> why you like this? Realistically, this hand isn't great against them anyway. It's not bad. Ugh. Oh, maybe there's just not enough dual lands in this deck. It's probably the full twelve, I assume, but. What's the mana base? Imagine it's just like 24 lands, all all sh shocks and duels. It's one less sh one less Dragon Skull Summit. We're on the draw. I'm gonna keep. I think we're behind. Again. Vanguard is pretty good against them. Like, just gonna thought erase us and stuff, and like our hand's just full of gas, so who discovery? I love my opponent plays discovery. It makes me feel like I can I can win no matter what. Bird. Well, I kept both cards, and we didn't draw a land. Yeah. Alright, uh, definitely like a Dondo. They have Field of Ruin? That's actually a Stone Rain. We have no basics. That kind of sucks. I can see this like this like playing a basic land. Like... It also turns the check lands on too, so. No cookie clicker. God, they're just stone rain us. This feels so bad. Maybe if I look harder. We'll find a god damn it.
I think we're in trouble. Did not expect to get Field of Ruin in this game. Ooh. Back in the game. Um, okay. Oh yeah, never mind, it comes in depth. <laughs> uh, that's not a godless shrine. Okay. Guess it's your turn. Oh my god. Ah, oh, I didn't block! <laughs> we got him. I space jam by accident. Best bluff ever. they're playing on Re Reckless Rage. The best bluff, folks, the best bluff is the one you don't realize you're making. Always. Always. Feel the ruin so rude. Nah, <laughs> and now they see it's a bluff. Yes, now they see it's a bluff. That's the best part. All right, um, they just like obviously have removal spells out there, but uh, and they're probably playing an eight mana or six mana planeswalker next turn. I gotta hold this rampage for a planeswalker, I guess. I was gonna attack and play another vanguard. This Liliana here is pretty bad, but. No, uh, minus two, minus two. Just had an idea for a cool animation. Who was that? Cubed, six month resub. Welcome back, my friend. Ooh. Contempt. And now we draw a land. I mean, are they playing counter spells in their deck? Who knows what the hell they're playing, honestly. Just do it. How do you how do you warden negate against me? I guess it stops soaring. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, it's over. We're done. We're done here. They get to cast a free copy of Cry of the Carnarium for two mana and still have Cry of the Carnarium in their hand. Ugh, no, nope, we're done. Nope, no more. That's it. Eject. Eject. What's our ooh? A booster. What's our what's our record? What are we going to pack for? We lost that game. No, for real, why, why do we get a pack? That wasn't a win. Oh, it's for games. Oh, okay. I guess it's for, not for, I thought it was for matches. That makes sense. Okay. Who wants to open a pack? Now, what's our record so far? Are we 2-2? Two and two? I think we're 2-2, two and two, right? Who wants to open a pack? Raise your hand in chat. Remember, folks, CoolStuffInc.com, number one source for all your game shopping needs, card games, board games, miniatures, you name it, CoolStuffInc.com has it. Use promo code JIM5 for 5% off your order. Check out my articles, too. Yay. Boost your pack.
Arc Bow. People love this card. We are 2-2, two two, right? Pretty sure we're 2-2. Two two. What's up, Snook? I got your message, and that's cool. That's cool. I'll be in touch about that. I'm probably only going Saturday and Sunday, but I, I will let you know. Thanks, Jibbles. Oh, that was you? Man, you trounced us. That field of ruin was very, very mean. Oh, look! <laughs> so the, the mana base is 12 duels and 11 check lands. Uh, we were just running on the wrong side of a check lands here. Uh, I think there should be one basic land, though, over um, over one check land. Maybe a Dragon Skull Summit should be like a, a plane or something. Um, I think I'm going to keep the... Like, I'm gonna keep whatever. We've we've failed now every time. If I know anything about roulette, all right. If we failed to draw a dual land for the last three times, we kept a hand like this. We are due to draw one now. That's just how it works. It's just how probability works. We're due. We're due. Island opt, huh? We are two and two though, right? Can someone confirm my record, please? I don't like really keep track. Wow, this can be sketchy. It's great. It's got a two drop, a three drop, tricks. <laughs> we suck. Uh, oh, no, this is bad. Uh. Nexus seems a little hard anyway without our duresses, but if they're allowed to run on check and we our hand is bad, this is uh, probably going to put us into game two here. Land untapped. Right on time. Right on time. John, you're alive. They took your blood, I thought. They only took some of it. How much did they take? Um, oh, what what percent of your blood did they take? Probably like two. Like 2%? That's actually probably pretty accurate. I was hoping for a funnier answer. Here's Stop being smart. But John got me candy buttons. Dude, high five. That's they awesome. Went to the candy store and got some. I but love candy buttons. Don't have the caramels. The caramels are only for me and mommy. That's fair. I don't like caramel. Cool. Chat's pretty surprised they didn't take all your blood. They're 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 really worried about you. It only still hurt a little. You're you're a hockey player, right? Yeah. All right, just checking. I said it hurt a little. Mhm. Mm all right, good job, bud. Um, the schnozberries yeah, taste like schnozberries. Yeah, you're good. Bye. See you later, bud. I mean, I can't imagine we win this game, but let's try, I guess. Like, they've got basically everything they need. You know, they're, they're two cards from Flipping Search. They already have Reclamation. Wow. That's a really... Uh, Defensive growth spiral. I mean, I mean root snare. Oh, they went down to bump up search. That's why. Okay, it's like going against them three life. Like, all right. I mean, they can obviously fizzle possibly, but they probably won't. So, probably going to game two here. Our keep was a little sketch, and we didn't didn't pan out. Could have sworn we were due. Could have sworn. Just thought that was how it works, you know. Alice Dismissal. Why that over War Boss? Um, I guess I could just block it now. 
Hmm. That's annoying. I think Opt is a must for these Nexus decks. Alright, let's see here. Are we gonna Reckless Rage this, this, this token here? I can mentor, that's true. Yeah, that's gas actually, I didn't even consider it. Um, that's great. That's Kanta. Narset. Right. I mean, our clock is reasonably significant. Like, they have a lot of mana uh, reclamation in uh, Ascanta, so we're definitely a huge dog. We could like possibly win. We're playing the Tron deck next. I believe this is match five, and I believe we're two and two. But I have a bad memory, and no one's answered me if this if that's true or not. So I have practiced to meditate and prepare. Yeah, that's gotta be it. They didn't set their stop. Uh okay. I can't draw cards though. <laughs> God, I hate Narset so much. It's so annoying. <laughs> like, it turns out my Defiant strikes, you know? How rude is that? <sighs> Whatever. I'm Sword Markov. I'm Sword Markov. <laughs> Motion. What a mess I've made. I mean, them skipping two Ascanta activations is pretty good for us. Oh, that's a next to fade. I don't want to play anymore. Alright. That's more than enough. Unless they miss their stop again somehow. Alright, so we're 0-1. We're, or, or, we're, we're down a game. That's fine. Our hand was pretty bad. It didn't really pan out, obviously. Bring our duresses, uh, our mortifies, and our war boss. Take out the Sorens. Take out the Angrath's rampages. Maybe I don't know if they're playing. It doesn't look like they're playing this. So maybe they are. Yeah, take out some reckless rages too. Yeah, take out two reckless rage. No, let's leave it on. Yeah, let's do two reckless rage. Two, two anger. No, let's do three reckless rage. Oh, Shelter Light's terrible. The I guess it's all staying in. All the rages and all the Angrass rampages, because the rest of these cards are all just terrible. So, now if this hand has two check lands, and that's it for lands, we're definitely keeping, because we are guaranteed due to draw a land this time. We did it. Our hand is functional. Duress you. Okay, great. Uh, growth Spiral, Nexus. This is it's fantastic. So take the Growth Spiral here for sure. And their hand is really, really slow. It's exactly how probability works. This hand is actually great. This is a pretty fast... Uh, pretty fast clock. Yep. Um. Okay. Dreadhording back to rest does seem really good, but I think we're still war bossing here. Dressing in two turns is still fine. Uh, we could play Dreadhord here and just stick Defiant Strike this for some extra damage, but I think getting war boss online is just yeah, it's just it's just too much. And their hand's pretty bad right now anyway, so. Like, we're attacking for a lot next turn. 
Probably haven't cast this on us. I might just try and goldfish them. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage next turn. Yeah, they're dead in two turns. We'll see. If we draw a land, I'll probably go Legionnaire and Arcanist. Talk to corporate. Send some faxes. Meet a giant fish. Yeah. It's near me. No? Oh. I mean, now they're in a spot where they have to cast Root Snare every turn. And we have uh, Duress next turn. So, feeling pretty good here. Yeah. As long as we draw a Duress, I think our, our clock is definitely fast enough to win, so... Eat some chicken strips. Like a boss. Talk to corporate. I mean, we have to keep it, right? We have to keep it. We're, we're totally, totally do. Keep her mulligan. Like, this hand's so good. Even if we don't draw land, this hand's pretty good. Um, we have turn two, we have turn two to rest, turn three creature. We're, we're keeping. We gotta keep it. The, the, I've run the math, and there's no chance this is gonna fail. We're keeping. Top card is Blood Crypt. Crash into the sun. Now I'm dead. Ah, crap. They mulligan to six, though. So, there's always that. What can go wrong? What can go wrong? Oh, yeah, their hand stinks. I'm sorry. Is that a blood crypt off the top that I called? That I said was going to happen? All right. So, now we're going to play Dread Horde. Next turn, we can go Legion, Legionnaire and Duress and Duress. It was technically in the wrong order, but it's okay. This is fine. Just don't like callous dismissal me. That would suck. Oh, yeah. Oh, a no land drop? Oh, this is a joke. Opponent, go away. Just go away. 3 2, book it. They have Reclamation, Spiral, Spiral, Tamio, Nexus. Yeah, they should take Reclamation. Gotta restart Arena after this game. This is just, this is just something else. Taking Tamio. And next turn is like, Strike, Strike, Strike. They have two cards in the bin. Could Mortify if we really want to also, but... They kept the card. Wow. It's gotta be a land, right? Yep. Blast Zone? That's actually really good. Okay. I mean... Them losing a land is pretty good for us anyway, so... Alright, let's start with a Defiant Strike and go from there. Let's see if I find a War Boss here, maybe? Pretty cool. Streamer Lock...
Base Jam. Ah, I believe they're not pumping up their Russell. I bet you they drew a Lance. Pretty lucky. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. Just math, folks. Just how probability works, alright? When you're really smart like me, you'll learn how probability works. Eh, it's a card. Your turn. Filthy Nexus player. Filthy Nexus player. I'm gonna eat some of my, my candy buttons here at John Gummings. Candy buttons are pretty dope. Hear that sound? This is some candy button magic stream ASMR -A -M -A or whatever it is stream. Satisfying sound, right? Satisfying sound, right? Victory. Three and two. Mardu Feather. Put it in the books. Get a card. It's an archer. This thing is actually pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. Um, the mana base needs work. Right now we're at 4, 8, 12. 15 black sources. I think you got to play at least one basic planes in this deck. And I almost wouldn't mind playing a, a mountain also. Um, yeah, so but uh, this deck seems sweet. I definitely would like to add at least one basic. Um, the back of the buttons, I do a good job on the buttons. See, that's the backs. There's no paper there. There's a little paper there, but it's fine. Paper tastes good. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to shave for a, one basic. Probably shave Dragon Skull Summit. Probably for a planes, I guess. Oh. Nope, no sneeze. Yes, sneeze. No. Um. So yeah, I would definitely add at least one basic. Um. I could see shaving a rampage. Uh. It's pretty good though. All in all, I'm just pretty happy with the deck. Honestly, I like it. Uh, sideboard's good. I can see playing a fourth duress uh, on the sideboard. Um, I like the honor guards. Deck's just sweet, honestly. I like it. I don't know if this is like the you know like a, a pro tour grand prix winning deck, but if you're looking to play feather, this is like the way to do it for sure. Soren, butcher, rampage, all great additions. Duress, great addition. Drop two summits for a swamp and a mountain. You definitely don't want a swamp. There's no chance you want a swamp in this deck. But I can see playing a mountain and maybe a plains. Um, but yeah, sweet. Deck's awesome. So if you like it, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure you, make sure you follow. Uh, we're playing Tron next, but if you're watching on YouTube, that's it for this video. So check it out.